Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is uh, September 11th of 2019 and 10.30 p.m. I recorded a short video of my 20-gallon aquarium tank using the Panasonic G7 camera. At the end of this video, I'll include that. So, when I get done blabbing, uh, don't touch the mouse because there'll be a few minutes of me showing you the uh, aquarium. Um, I'm using Manicam again to record this, so it's recording the desktop, and then I have uh, uh, I have the Logitech Brio USB camera, you know, plugged into the computer, and I'm using that. I haven't embedded it uh, so I can do something like this easily. And uh, this is, by the way, my YouTube page, channel. And it's actually, I have it set to, no, I don't. Yes, I, oh, I don't. Now, this is just the uh, channel page which very few of you actually go to. Like uh, those of us who make YouTube videos can see um, how many visitors uh, are, you know, recommended by, because they log on to YouTube and it's a search or a uh, recommendation. And we can see like how many people actually uh, came directly to the channel page, which very few of you do. I forget what the number is. It's very low, you know, so just percentage-wise. But uh, this is... But now, at the channel page, you know, you have home, videos, playlist, and community. And I like community, but I don't think any of you are going to it, you know, hardly at all. This is where... Uh, you know, so I added these. I decided what was going to go here. But you're able to comment. And one reason I think very few of you are going there because uh, now maybe somebody did go because I see a couple thumbs up. But I don't see any comment from from you all. But anyway, I think it's a nice... Uh, nice option. You know, a community, uh, of course, I think all of you are using, you know, Facebook and Reddit and Twitter and I don't know what all instead of. But anyway, the options for when you come to the, uh, to a YouTube channel, you know, it's the uh, home and then there's uh, videos, and you can see all the videos that have been uh, created by the YouTube provider. Then there's playlist where the YouTube provider has a group them uh, playlist together. Let's see how many. Is this all the playlists? Let's see if it's all the playlist. Yeah. Oh, I see. I have an option here to go sideways. Okay, so here are the... Uh, and like here, uh, I went to Washington, D.C. for a couple of weeks. And uh, here are those videos. My daughter, I think, 
I went to Washington, D.C. for two weeks uh, in 2017 and uh, stayed with my daughter and her husband. And um, I think she made most of these videos. I made some of them. Let's, let me just show you one. It's not a minute and three seconds, so... See if I have the sound on. Okay. Oh, that video is uh, three minutes. Apart. That's when I landed at the airport. Uh, but anyway, I really like those videos that uh, my daughter LaDonna made. She used her iPhone for that, and she even did the editing. So it's something... Uh, It's built into, you know, the cell phone, the Apple thing. And I think, I'm not sure if it's happened on one or more of these videos that she made, but that's, you know, it's an Apple product on the cell phone, and they provide it to, you know, Apple people that... Uh, they can use and so the little tunes and the various things are you know paid for by Apple and that type of stuff but I've had I think one or two maybe more uh, some corporation that runs those bots or whatever comes in and claims and it's any type of uh, a few notes of music or anything like that they come in and claim it as copyrighted material and uh, so then you get a warning from, you know, YouTube. And I've had it, I don't remember, but uh, programs that I have paid for, and I've paid for a bunch of different ones, uh, video editing software for taking your videos with, you know, with my uh, PC, you know, Microsoft uh, Windows or whatever. Uh, you purchase for $60 or $100 or whatever uh, video editing software and um, as soon as I try to comp comp uh, you know put a put something together if I want to get back to uh, my starting place here, my channel. As soon as I uh, try to uh, create something, if there's any music in it at all, and, and it's, it's the same thing with the programs that I purchased, you know, uh, I should be able to, I can't, well, let's say uh, Movidia, Video Suite 18, and others that I've paid for, they'll tell you, hey, you know, $69, $89 for this, and you get all of this artwork, and you get all of this music, and all of these tunes and notes or whatever that are in there that you can drag into your video, 
and they're all free provided to you. They're they're free and you can use them because and uh, as soon as I try basically to uh, do anything like that, immediately these bots that are created will uh, claim it as copyrighted material and uh, YouTube will notify me and then YouTube will Uh, take any revenue that's created and will give it to these people and uh, you of course can appeal but that takes a little bit of time and then you have to you know so it's uh, I'm really hesitant you've probably seen me of any type of uh, material where you where there's any uh music or anything else because these bots will claim it um, but anyway I think this community thing is I just wish that but you all don't uh, you don't really go to the home channel very few of you do um, and that's uh, that's too bad. Um, what else did I want to? I know I'm going to get hit with a copyright notice for this, but whatever. But um, I've told you before about this. This is, um, uh, well, let me show you a little, uh, well, it's radio.garden. And it's really neat. All these are radio stations. So, let me just go to my, uh, anyway, you just go. And you can do this. You can do this with, uh, you know, the map. So you can go. This happens to be UK, but uh, let me hop over to Ireland, Dublin. We be at Dublin. That's where we be. Here's actually the airport radio. We may hear aircraft or whatever. It says it's unresponsive, okay. But let's go back to... There you go. Now there's not a lot of... Uh, Let's jump over to to uh, London. I actually have a question too. From the jam cream thing, debacle. Well, you got that wrong. Now I know that in Devon cream is first, but that is technically wrong because we all know with scones you're supposed to put the jam on first. Look, I'm a Cornish girl at heart. You, yeah, you are. I'm gonna say that's the wrong way around. <laughs> no, what? no, you. Anyway, there's 36. <laughs> yeah, I don't see it now. Let's see. How, maybe I could do a search. Thank you very much indeed. Out. And he was called in. His contract was terminated immediately. They've cut him uh, out of uh, any programs where he features. 
Let me do a sec if I can do a search here for... I noticed something. There we go. Let's go back here. I noticed for the UK, there's in various cities and towns, they have hospital broadcasting service. They have hospital radio for different towns. And so I have a question for <clears throat> some of you, you people in the UK. Uh, I, I just haven't listened enough to, well, actually, I guess I could go to the, uh, when, let's do that. Let's pick uh, Plymouth. Let me turn the sound back on. So I'm wondering is, because I haven't seen that before in like the United States or where, where in various cities do hospitals have a closed circuit radio station operating in their hospital that is broadcast, well it wouldn't be closed, well then that is broadcast outside the hospital to the city area. Uh, which, of course, also now, you know, is available uh, by link. I guess I could click on this, and uh, maybe it's going to tell me or explain it to me. But is that what the situation is? Hospital Radio Plymouth, 50 years serving their community. Welcome to, let's see. We are staffed entirely by hosp by volunteers who create and produce both live and recorded programs. We have the ability to broadcast from pretty much anywhere and bring you Plymouth Argyle football matched live from home park, okay, directly to your hospital bedside. Okay, I guess that answered my question then. That's interesting. That's something, I guess, that developed over there. Over there. Hospital radio. I worked hospitals in, you know, the United States security for 30 years. Uh, for five and a half years, I worked at uh, Trinity Lutheran Hospital in Kansas City, Missouri. And uh, <clears throat> on Sundays... It wasn't something that I was required to do or I was told to do, or, but I would go sometimes to the chapel when they did the uh, over-the-closed-circuit TV system just for the hospital. It was not broadcast externally. But I would go, and uh, they'd be doing the mass, the Lutheran mass or whatever, and uh, sometimes I would do something because they had the camera just stationary. And I'd go there and then, you know, do the camera work a little bit. And uh, so I did that. But this is interesting. Also, like, uh, well, I started shortwave listening in 1955. So I was listening to uh, radio stations all around the world. But I wasn't able to use a, you know, there wasn't any, you know, World Wide Web uh, wasn't even the internet then quite then I hadn't, wouldn't, but um, so I've listened to lots and lots of stations but back then I had to use a shortwave radio with an external antenna it depended on the ionosphere time of day the month I even did a radio program that was uh, broadcast over WRUL radio from the United States to Europe, Africa, and Latin America two or three times a week, depending on, I should just say three times a week, make it easier, but uh, during the year or whatever, when the ionosphere, atmospheric conditions and things change, they would uh, change their programming a little bit and some of their frequencies would uh, change uh, depending on how, you know, and they, so... But uh, I just found out something that's interesting about hospital radio. 
I was kind of wondering because when I went to various uh, cities here in the UK and they would be listed, it seemed to me like the music was more uplifting. I can't think of the, the music, but it would be, you know, it wasn't uh, hip-hop music where, you know, the N-word was being used or death or whatever. It was more like, what I can't, get, I can't think of a, not really into music very much, uh, you know, like Stand By Me or, I don't know, some song that would be like, you know, you know things are going to be good, you're going to get better, or whatever. Now, of course, hospitals worldwide, well, hospitals in the United States, you know, they have uh, patients over their device there, you know, that controls the, the bed, and they also can control the television set. They can pick now, uh, you know, audio channel, but it's not a radio station, you know, but it, they can pick an audio channel, and just as they can pick TV, and then the hospitals, I think, usually have nowadays a uh, a hospital a channel on there that's not being broadcast externally. So you go in the hospital and it'll you know tell you you can go to that channel and look up uh, things you know like how does your remote control work. Uh, how do you raise and lower your bed and all that kind of stuff? Anyway, let me hit. Am I still at my list? Let's see. No. You could add him to your pantheon of villains because you know Jimmy Carter off the number one spot. Didn't didn't Jimmy Carter go through a period when? Anyway, I probably already have been uh, I'm going to be flagged, you know, so for copyright infringement or something. I can understand it, and I want uh, people to be paid for, you know, their work or whatever. But here in the United States, we've got people who have set up, you know, coding that searches like YouTube and other places, but searches like YouTube. And they claim, anytime there's any music, they're going to claim, you know, they're going to claim it. And, uh, you know, it, YouTube will go ahead and issue a, you know, restriction and give them the revenue if you of course I don't earn any revenue you know but by the way and I I just checked for the first time I mean I never paid any attention before um, YouTube pays well I don't, maybe that's not everybody when I do get some money from YouTube well let's see it's kind of pitiful See if I can find it here. I get paid on the twenty. They pay on the twenty second of each each month. If yeah, here's the, the you know, it shows up goes to my bank account. It shows up coming from Google. It doesn't show from you know YouTube. It shows of course from uh, Google AdSense. And the last three times. The last time that this is, keep in mind, this is September 11th of 2019, and they only pay when you have uh, commissions of a hundred dollars or more. So this is uh, September September 11th, 2019. The last time I got money for them was uh, January, February, March, April. Is May 21st of 2019, $100.91. $100 then before that was February 21st of 2019, and that was $125.74. And then 
uh, in November of the previous year, on the 21st uh, of 2018, I got $103.42. So since the last time I got any money, there's a possibility that this month in September, on the 21st, I may get, you know, about $100 from them. The only thing I've had happen a few times is uh, I only earn, let's say, $99, and then I have to wait the entire month till the next month. And that's like on February when I got $125. That's probably what happened is uh, it was just $99 or something like that. So I had to wait, you know, till the... But uh, what I'm, I'm not sure that this is that everybody gets paid on the 21st. I'm guessing that everybody, that the YouTubers do. You know, you get a, well, I'm not sure if they send you a check. If they would send you a check, I have direct deposit. But um, it may be that, that they do things differently. Just like uh, I'm on Social Security, I'm retired. And I'm on Social Security. And I get my direct deposit on the fourth Wednesday of each month. So, you know, that varies. Uh, sometimes it could be a little bit early. Sometimes it could be a little bit late in the month. But it's the fourth Wednesday of each month. But I know other people who are on Social Security that they get it on the same date every month like the third or the 20th of each, you know. So I guess it, it I don't think it matters to me uh, that I get paid on the fourth Wednesday. But I'm guessing that Social Security does it. I'm not sure what, how it's, how they come up with who gets paid on a certain date and other people get paid on a certain day. Uh, but I'm sure it's to relieve the load on the computing system and on their employees and everything else, it, rather than have how many millions and millions of having to deal with that, you know. So it doesn't really matter. Just why did I bring it up? I don't know. Well, I guess because I'm kind of wondering if uh, YouTube does it that way. Um, so, let me show you a CNN page, because I usually do that, uh, just so, if, you know, if a year from now or 10 years from now, or, you know, you'll, um, uh, Vaping, I am concerned about this vaping because I have a grown son and uh, he he uses a vapor a little, you know, the vapor thing a little bit because he's trying to get away from smoking cigarettes. So, so he's actually, he'll use, you know, a little bit of uh, the gum to try to, you know, and he's using and he just puffs on it a few times, but... I'm worried about this uh, this vapor-related illness uh, that's going around. Um, anyway, this is this is. Oh, go back to this story. I just saw on CNN someplace. Uh, okay, here it is. I'm going to have to probably stop the audio. Well, I don't even see the story appearing under it, so I can... Invading our privacy. Like oh, okay, yeah. Uh, some schools now are removing the doors to the bathroom, to the stalls, so that there's no door there. And uh, in order to prevent high school students, I guess, from, you know, vaping. And uh, 
people are concerned, you know, kids are concerned about. But then I think it says like 20% or 22% are vaping in the school and using bathrooms for that. And so the school's trying to prevent that. Now, the high school I went to, uh, I went to De La Salle Military Academy in Kansas City, Missouri, between 1955 and 1959. And it was an all-male school, and there were no doors on the, you know, the hallway. There was no door there. And then when you went inside the restrooms, there were no doors on the stalls there. Um, which was kind of interesting, you know, it was, we almost never saw any females in the school, but maybe several times a year, St. Teresa's or Loretta uh, Catholic all-girls school, the nuns would bring over several uh, girls, you know, high school girls, who would then come in the school and pop into different classrooms and invite, you know, hey, we're having a dance, you know, at uh, St. Teresa's, and we're having a dance at Loretta. Uh, it's on such and such a day. Be sure and, you know, come. Mm, I'm not sure that's what they say. Anyway. But <laughs> I think when those girls were walking through the hallways of the school, the nuns probably had to say, look straight ahead, look straight ahead, you know, look straight. I thought that was kind of strange. But uh, for, four, for four years, I don't think I actually used the restroom. Uh, I know I didn't do it. I bet you I didn't do a number two in the restroom at the school. Uh, I very rarely used the restroom. But anyway, there was no doors, no privacy. And, of course, it wasn't because of vaping that didn't exist then, but it was because I, well, I wonder if some of the Christian brothers wanted to be able to, but I never saw a Christian brother go in, well, I never went in there. Um, uh, but I think it was to stop graffiti, smoking, to prevent smoking and probably some uh, cadet writing on the wall or something, or rather putting something crude. I'm thinking that's probably the reason. But back to CNN homepage, because there was something else I... I looked at this thing the other day, a young swimmer. There's two sisters someplace who are on the swim team, and both of them, that's their thing. They work out in the uh, gym and uh, do all kinds of stuff so that they're, and they wear the approved school swim suits. Let's see if I can... Anyway, this, uh, I'm not sure if it's both sisters or this one, one girl. She is, you know, really good at swimming, but she's worked out at it and everything. She's really good at, uh, swimming. Like she's not, she's, she, she swam, you know, in this competition and she won, of course. And uh, the uh, judge disqualified her because of her swimsuit, which her school and the, I guess, association or whatever, it was in a, I can't understand why people need it. Well, I guess I can need an approved swimsuit. But anyway, and I guess uh, maybe she has a, little different, uh, I mean, it's not a thong or anything, it's in a school approved. Anyway, uh, so, I think that they have, I think they reversed the, uh, 
Anyway, she was disqualified. She won the uh, the swimming contest naturally because she's really good. I guess she wins all the time. And the judge disqualified. She won, and she was disqualified. And so I think, um, wait a moment, what's to say up here? Okay, it led to a reversal. A young swimmer was disqualified after a race for how her swimsuit fit her body. The outcry led to a reversal. Okay. So, something that I blogged about on my blog, and there, I think there is a YouTube video that I made. People, back in the United States, back in the 40s and 50s, and I'm not sure when it went, how far beyond that that it went, <clears throat> but because the swimming pool filters back then were not very good. I don't, I don't think they'd come up with chlorine, maybe. I'm not sure. Anyway, the uh, pool filters would be messed up by cotton or fabric from the swimsuits. And so you had to swim nude. And the YMCA, now keep in mind, this is a young YM, Young Men's Christian Association. They had centers all across the United States. If you were a major town, city or whatever, you probably had a YMCA um, place there. Right? And they you could go there and play checkers and table tennis. Ping. I never went to one of them. Uh, and all that type of thing. They had a swimming pool. And males, and I forget the exact rule about the females, but males had to swim naked. And that included men and boys. And they're, you know, these centers in the city, that's where boys would go to use a swimming pool, and that's where uh, they'd go and get swimming lessons and all that type of stuff. And high schools and you I've seen a couple movies one was about a catholic there's a good I've good movie about oh can't remember the name of the movie I'd recommend it to you an old movie but it's about a all male catholic high school not a military one but a catholic boys high school taught by brothers the school I was at was taught by the Christian brothers. Um, our school didn't have a swimming pool. We didn't have anything. Um, but in that movie, there's a scene where there's a swim, you know, the boys are all lined up. You know, of course, you can't see anything, you know. But the high school for the, in this movie, and it, you know, shows the pool and it's swimming time. And the boys are all lined up naked, of course, to swim. So anyway, um, the point being, which I have brought up before and which I blogged about, uh, was that was just, that was natural. Well, here it is, 2019. And when I blogged about it years ago, which was before, you know, it was in written form, and, but then I did make a video not long ago about it. Uh, and even then, in that video, I think, in the comments, you have several people saying, that's, that's not true, that's fake news. You know, it, you know, men and boys did not swim naked. This is the United States of America, and this is a godly Christian country, and that never happened. It's fake news. It's history. It did happen. Uh... But that just shows you how far we've come. Uh, just think if some school said, okay, we have this. Of course, there's no reason for them now because the filters work, you know. But if some school said, um, 
for some reason. I don't know what the reason would be now because the filters, the system, filtration system works. But just think if some school said, okay, uh, males have to swim, you know, naked in the pool. My God. Uh, people's heads would explode. They would just go crazy. They would say, you know, but because they just cannot accept, you know, with today's prejudices and craziness about nudity and everything, they just cannot accept it. They can't believe that it happened. And, I mean, it's a known fact. I think on the video I did, I think I clicked to somebody, to another person's video who did research on it, looked up in newspapers and talked to different people and everything, you know, everything else. It, it did happen. And I mentioned this in uh, I wonder if I could find it. Wait a minute. Let's see. I'm going to do where if I search. Let's see. Okay. Not sure if it'll show up my my video will show up or not. Now, of course, this is not. This is. Uh, yeah, how do I do a search? Don't even know how. Let's go to home. I want to search my videos. Oh, I know. I can. I know how I can do it. Um. Your channel. No, okay, what I want to do is go to... Okay, maybe I can do it this way. And, uh, no. Okay, I'll go to... Here. Because I wanted, because I mentioned it before. Okay, here this will show just my videos. Okay, there you go. So it looks like I made two videos on it: nude swimming in the United States. Do you remember when boys would swim in pools in the United States nude? The other video is nude swimming in America. Uh, okay, there's two videos. I'll put a links to this below, or I'll put links in the this video, by the way, in case you want to see it. You're not going to see any nude people, you know. But um, the the reason that I first blogged about I, I, this, I think, was when I ran across something on. Yahoo uh, messenger thing about something about nude swimming and I was like wow I didn't know that because I never went to a YMCA I never learned to swim I never went to the pool or whatever but what I mentioned I think in one of these videos or in both when I was like I don't know nine or ten years old my mother dropped me off at uh, my uncle and my aunt's place and they had I was an only child uh, and I, a few times over the years I got dropped off at my at my mother's brother's uh, place they had three kids and they had a boy Billy who was a year younger than I was and over the years, uh, two or three times maybe, uh, he got dropped off or he was, or he came on his own and spent the night, you know, with, with me at our house. But, so this one time I got dropped, and I think it was the first time, and I'm, I'm thinking I was maybe uh, nine or ten years old. And I got dropped off there and uh, Willie 
uh, Billy's mother said, oh, uh, well, Billy's not here. Uh, he is uh, swimming at the YMCA. It's only a few blocks away. Why don't you go and you can swim with him? And I said, well, I, I don't have a swimsuit. And she said, oh, they don't, you're not allowed to wear a swimsuit. And she said, so you can go swim with him. And it's just, you know, three or four blocks or something over there. And uh, I said, okay. So anyway, as I was going over, I'd never seen a naked person. <laughs> never saw my, I was the only child. I never saw my mother and father naked. Never really saw them showing affection to each other, you know, each other or whatever. And... Uh, I'd never seen a naked person, and I thought, hey, I'm going to get to see a naked body or a naked person or whatever. So I was heading over there, and then uh, my cousin, I ran into him coming, you know, coming, Billy coming back, so then we went back, you know, to his place. And uh, so that that was it. But then at uh, some place in my mind, I thought they were poor. Like, well, you know, I was from a middle class family, you know, uh, so they were kind of poor. My uh, Bill, Willie, and the three kids. And uh, I thought for years and years and years till just a very few years ago, I thought, oh, that's really nice that the YMCA would require nude swimming because poor people couldn't afford, you know, swimsuits. And that was the reason. And then when I saw someplace popped up, I think, on a, U on a Yahoo message board or something, somebody asked a question or something. And it popped up, yeah, you know, people were talking about, yeah, I swam naked, you know, in uh, Philadelphia and somebody else. Yeah, I, we went to the, and the people were talking about it. Yeah, the first time I went, I was, you know, 10 years old, and, and I was kind of shy. Uh, but as soon as we did it, as soon as we jumped in the pool, after that it was just fun and blah, blah, blah. And so then I found out, well, no, it wasn't that YMCA did that. They, YMCA required nude swimming because their filter system couldn't handle the fabric or something. Maybe cotton came loose into the... So, so I learned something. And I think that's what these two... I'm, I'll put links to blow to that and I'll eventually try to get it into the, uh, the video. So... Um, But that's not the situation here with nude swimming. It was just uh, bizarre. Uh, I saw something like, I think it's one of the videos that, I forget where it was. Let's see if I can. Uh, let's see, not showing up on the side. Why is that? Maybe I have to go to, maybe I have to go to home. Maybe that's it. Nope, that's not it. Well, anyway. Um, let's see. That's not it. Okay, guess I've, have I babbled enough? Um, now I'm going to come to a stop here, but you're going to see uh, <clears throat> a little video of my, uh, well, let me swing the camera around there, little video of my, okay, of my 20 gallon aquarium. So, um, 
do not touch the mouse. Uh, please subscribe, by the way. Still trying to get 3,000 subscribers. I've been a YouTube person since 2005 when they started. I was actually streaming videos before there was a YouTube. <laughs> but uh, I haven't, haven't got to 3,000 subscribers yet. Be a nice goal to get there. I mean, I'm moving slowly towards it. But, uh, well, shall we see? No. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And here comes a video of the 20 gallon high aquarium recorded on the Panasonic. G7 camera. And thank you very much for watching. Hello, and Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, September 11th of 2019. I had to look at the computer to see. This is my 20 gallon high tank. Doesn't have very much in it. Those are live plants by the way. Uh, do have albino snails. There's one drifting down if I can catch it in time. Nope. Ostomus, two of them in there. So there's uh, one Corydoras catfish and albino snails, a couple other kind of, or there's two of one kind of snail, and of course uh, shrimp. And I started with, I think, seven that I ordered off of eBay. And, you know, came UPS, or uh, no, came Priority Mail. And uh, this, by the way, is being filmed with, uh, or videoed with my Panasonic G7 camera. I'm looking at the uh, viewfinder here. Let's see, where's the focus on this? <clears throat> Those are live plants. The tanks, it's okay. You know, the live, the live plants are okay. Uh, the two Procostumus in there, they get rowdy and uh, swim real fast and then sometimes when they're trying to eat algae off the plant or whatever they'll uproot the plant or whatever so I have this 20 gallon high tank and I guess let me try to show you this other one I'm not sure how the, the lighting will be all that good for for this uh, Six and a half gallon plastic tank. Yeah, the lighting is not good in there at all. So, so I'm going to stop recording. <laughs>